This presentation describes the benefits of using the prosthetic rehabilitation outcome application to quantify your patient's functional outcome. Today, more than ever, we're being asked by our patients, referral sources, and reimbursement agents for documented data demonstrating the value of our intervention, the prosthesis. Let me show you how the PROAP can make this an easy process for you and everyone else involved. First, when your patients arrive at the clinic, the front office staff can hand them the iPad preloaded with their personal information and ask them to complete several questionnaires as your patient wait for you to see them. Most questionnaires included in the pro app take less than three minutes to complete. With patients' answers on the self-report questionnaires, you can look at their perceived prosthetic mobility with the PLAS M. You can look at their perceived balance confidence with the ABC scale. You can look at their satisfaction with the prosthetic socket using the class. And you can also use the fall risk questionnaire, the WHO's, COOS, PPSQ 13, and the IPEC short form. Then you can open the iPad and look at the results and see what are the patient needs and goals. Is it a patient that has balance difficulties at home? Or maybe it is a patient looking to get out in the community. Or maybe it is a patient that wishes to be more active and get back to a fitness program. Now, as all good clinicians, you probably would want to verify their function, mobility, and balance issues. The PRO app makes it very easy to administer performance-based outcome measures such as the amputee mobility predictor to determine the patient's functional level, the two-minute walk test or 10-meter walk test to measure mobility, the time up and go, or even more so the component time up and go to measure balance, and many more. Now you have objective data and a baseline of how your patient is performing prior to them receiving their new prosthesis. Let me give you an example of how you can demonstrate the value of your intervention. Let's say you have a new patient and you administered the AMPNO Pro for this patient and he got a score indicating he's at the K2 functional level. Now, the AMP doesn't predict his outcome it can only predict what his current functional level is. So he might be a K2. He goes through the fitting process and he is comfortable with his prosthesis. You retest him at the conclusion of the fitting process with his new prosthesis. And now his score indicate his functional level is K3. What made the difference from him to move from a K2 to a K3 functional level on the AMP? your intervention, the prosthesis. To further verify that they have improved their functional capabilities, you can administer secondary performance-based outcome measures such as the time up and go, component time up and go, two minute walk test and 10 meter walk test. Or what we highly recommend is to ask your patient to take a moment and to complete the plus M and the ABC scale and you're probably going to be very interested to see how they rate their socket satisfaction with the class. The next step is using the PRO app to generate reports from the initial visit. With each additional visit, the PRO app will be able to generate a progress report so you can show your patient and the referring physician the change that is taking place over time. Moreover, you'll be able to include the information from the pro app in your patient notes. So it could serve for documentation of service in cases reviewed by payers or any other agency. One of the newest features of the pro app is the patient prosthetic satisfaction questionnaire or the PPSQ 13. PPSQ 13 looks at five different levels of interest of your patient's experience. The prosthetist knowledge of outcome measures, their ability to communicate outcome measure results to the patient, 
It looks at the prosthetist ability to provide information to the patient, the prosthetist ability to provide high level skills with prosthetic fitting, and the overall experience of your patient while at your office. All of this is very important today to reimbursement agents, referral resources, and hospitals that you may partner with in your community. The nice thing about the PPSQ 13 is that it comes in a nice printout where you can look at the aggregate of multiple patients that you have seen within one month, one quarter, or on an annual basis. So the PRO app is designed to allow you to collect a rather large amount of meaningful data that can be shared with your patients so they understand the level of care they're receiving and become more engaged with their plan of care. The data can enable you to have conversation at the physician's level, sharing your reports on how you progress their patients with your intervention, the prosthesis, and what you can do to make them grateful that they referred their patient to your facility. In addition, having this type of documentation in your notes will always be advantageous at any time your documentation is being reviewed or when you're submitting a claim. Administration of outcome measures have become an important part of today's healthcare environment. Documenting patient's outcome is now required for justification of an intervention and for demonstrating the value of the clinician's work. Over the next several presentations, we will talk about how you can use the different outcome measures included in the PROAP to further identify limitation in your patient's performance and how you might address them clinically. For more information on the PROAP, check OSU website or contact your local OSU representative.